Hey, I'm Shar, and welcome to readings. We're going to go and do a Pisces reading today, a little friend. And we're going to go to the eye of the ocean. Pisces, going to the playing cards, what I was trained on, what I know best. And, um, <laughs> that's all. Okay, you're going to have to go down if you're not going to get out of the way. Pisces. Pisces. Actually, I'm feeling pretty good for you, Pisces. Get out of it. I'm feeling pretty good for you. I got a, I got a feeling that, uh, well, it just might be a good reading. I'm feeling good for you. For those who are feeling bad, keep your hopes up. Keep your frequencies alive. And keep them vibrating high. Let's see what we got for you. Pisces. Let's go. Let spirit speak. And let's get her on. And let's get her done. Let's go. Pisces. Soulmate connection. Well, now. Okay. All right. Already we get a hijacker. Now this. Okay. Spirit speak to me. All right, I feel like this is kind of a different kind of reading here. This may be a personal reading that belongs to somebody. I'm going to say you might have had a brother. At least I have a brother on the board that could be a brother, a sister. But there's something here. Somebody passed away. Maybe you're fighting for an uh, inheritance. and Maybe someone wouldn't give you a, what you deserve. Now, if it's not an inheritance or something here, Pisces... That there's a soulmate of some sort here that seems to be holding your security in their hands. Now, spirit speaks. So, hey, this could be somebody that you're living with and all of a sudden it's just things are not really feeling good. You're getting vibes. You're feeling like, I got to get the hell out of here. I got bad vibes about the place and they don't like me anymore or something here. But there's somebody here that may have... Uh, I may be getting ready. Spirit, speak to me. Maybe getting ready to let go of some kind of ego control. Because I got the Five of Swords in the reverse. Now, Pisces is someone. Possibility if you're living with someone or you're living somewhere, somebody's leaning on you. You're just not feeling the vibes there anymore. Something is happening. But there's about to be some sort of a turnaround. Now, if somebody has had some sort of control over your rent or an inheritance, they're about to make some strange decisions. You're going to have to move, buddy. Come on now. Over there. There's a messenger coming in here with a, with a star. Someone with a star in their hand, and Spirit is talking about a tattoo, possibly. If you know someone's got a star... This is someone that carries the star. This could be a, something that they could get on their neck or a star or some kind of a pointed thing that looks like a star. But your troubles are about to end. Whatever is happening here with the Nine of Wands in the reverse. Your troubles are about to end here. Somebody wants you to work on something with them, Pisces. But you know what, Pisces? We have a devil of a time letting things go. You know, we'll, we'll be very, very grateful and accepting. But you know what? There's something about the Pisces Chi that even though we forgive, we just can't let something freaking go. You know what I mean? So if somebody's holding rent over my head or a roof over my head, or even maybe somebody that's holding something that belongs to me, and if they were to come and then say, you know, you kind of feeling bad for the way I treated you, or I'm feeling bad for holding back, and here I want to give it to you. But even though you want to work on it, Pisces, there's something here that you feel, and you can't walk away from it either. That's a thing. 
is that you feel that there's some sort of deception and I can't walk away from it. I feel that this is not right. Something's going on. No good deed goes unpunished. That kind of thing. And this is what Pisces' mind is. Pisces is always like, okay, so somebody did this for me, but what do they really want? Okay, so whatever it is you're feeling that somebody's being deceptive, even though they're coming to you and saying, here, this just belongs to you. I decided to give it to you. It wasn't fair of me to hold it back. It's someone who's letting down their ego. Or I decided, you know, you can stay here for as long as you like. Just pay me whatever you can, you know. I see that there's a, some sort of a fight. A fight that's being left out in the cold. So somebody's trying to work with you. All right, Pisces. I love you to death. My God. I'm a Pisces. But there are times that somebody will put down the boxing gloves and we'll pretend we put down ours. But we're always on guard. We're always just waiting. Waiting to grab those gloves out of our pocket and put them back on. You know, like, I don't trust it. Spidey senses are tingling. Just don't freaking trust it. Let's continue on. And I, I continuously keep seeing a tattoo of a star. Or it could be uh, something's got, got to do with heavenly bodies. Yeah, so... Uh, so Pisces, the thing is, is that one thing is, is that you're getting ready for a shift with the world card coming out here, but there's also this nightmare. Now we all know, we all know that as we begin to work on ourselves and as we just begin to go from one stage to another, from one level of energy to another level of energy, we all know that it can be very, very hard on us. You don't just transition. Like, <laughs> oh, okay, so today's bad, but I can feel the shift, and the shift comes in, and yay, it's, it's, you don't just transition from good to good. Before we transition, before we change, before we change cycles, there's always like, oh, my bones hurt, my joints hurt, getting headaches, I can't sleep, or I'm way oversleeping, or there's something happening, I'm feeling depressed, but I'm not depressed, I, uh, sometimes I just feel like sitting down and freaking crying for no reason, I don't know what the hell is wrong with me, uh, this is the transformation, and the transformation's always, always, always very hard on I mean, the body, the spirit, and the mind, so let's continue on, you, uh, somebody's letting down a fight, Pisces, you don't trust it. You accept it, but you don't trust it. You're always like, mm, something's happening here. I don't trust it. I don't trust them. <clears throat> well, I tell you, this is a very, very good, <clears throat> and I felt this before I even picked the cards up. Pisces, you're standing at the crossroads. You're getting ready to transition. You're getting ready to change. You're getting ready to shift. You're ready to go from first gear to second. Or from neutral to drive. And I want to say you're getting ready to go into drive and possibly even freaking overdrive because I have the King of Cash and the Ten of Cups coming out here. Now the King of Cash could be enlightenment. doesn't have to be cash. The king of enlightenment, the king of wisdom, the king of knowing. But then the Ten of Cups comes out right behind it. And I've always looked at the Ten of Cups as house, home, security, joy, happiness, pool in the back maybe, room for a pony, maybe family, the reconnecting of family, children. So Pisces, whatever this shift is, it's freaking good. But like I said, before we shift, we feel like crap. Here comes Pisces in all their bloody glory, but coming out as a king of water. King Neptune himself rising out of the sea. 
Now, when King Neptune rises out of the sea, is it like us rising out of the sea as a human being rising out of the water? A human being rising out of the water is just barely a ripple. And they just stick their head up. Hey, here I am. I'm out of the sea. But when the king of emotion rises out of the sea, it's turbulent. Picture it. See it. The king of the ocean, the, the owner of the ocean, coming up. And do you think he's going to come up with a little ripple and say, hey, hey? No, he's going to come up like, bam, tidal waves, tempests, winds, storms, thunders, and lightnings. I see something is about to happen here. Let's shuffle. Let's see what Spirit's got to say. Come on. Oh. I'm feeling freaking tickety boo. With the Nine of Pentacles coming out here, not just money and enlightenment, but what I like to call the tickety boo card. This is going up into the attic. This is with great emotion. Going up there and sweeping up with an emotional broom. That hurts. I gotta get rid of it. That hurts. I gotta get rid of it. I remember that when I was a little kid and it's plagued me for all throughout my adulthood. I got to get rid of it. Great emotion. And through this great emotion, we make ourselves feel better. And there will be an ending. There will be an ending to the pain and the suffering. Come on, feeling tickety-boo. Feeling a lot of emotion. Now I'm going to tell you just for example, and I spent a few hours with somebody the other night. And it was, hello, how you doing? And I was offered a Diet Coke. And then she began to speak. And she told me nightmares about her childhood out of nowhere. She just began telling me, spilling it forth. Just talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. And I just sat there and just shaking my head and looking and listening and shaking my head. And once in a while I'd say something like, oh, that bastard -o. But it was just word after word after word after word after word. The great emotions of words and feelings and pain and suffering from the past. And going up into the head and into the mind and saying enough and it's time to end this pain it's time to end this goddamn suffering it's time to end these memories now spirit usually puts me in circumstances in my life before I do readings and spirit will say to me this what's happening here right now I will put into a reading so that you can help others to understand what the hell you're talking about. I got a feeling, Pisces, you're either going to meet someone that's going to bring in or bring out all the pain, all the hurt, bring out this king of emotion, bring out all this pain and suffering and help you to see it's time to kill it. It's time to destroy this shit. That's been plaguing you. Celebration. <laughs> Can't make this shit up. Thank you, Spirit. Celebration. This is a damn. This is a success. All right, so what do I have here? Am I seeing great financial success for you? Well, it could be, but I'm reading this thing a whole different way. And I'm reading it through spirit. What spirit is telling me is that somebody wants to let down the fight. Somebody wants to come and talk to you. You don't trust it. But that's just something that's up inside of you that you've been hurt. You've been kicked and beaten and bit. And you just find it really, really hard to totally trust. No matter what people say or, or what gift they bring. 
But when this happens, there's a shift that comes shortly afterwards. The shift right now, you're probably feeling aches and pains and headaches and you're just feeling what the hell is wrong with me, what's going on, I can't figure this out, I just, I have no energy, I don't know what the hell is wrong with me. And then, bam, we slide into a shift. The universe takes you from one spot and puts you in another, sister. Now look where you are. And where are you? Enlightenment. Home. Children. Love. Feeling home again. The great emotions of clearing the mind of all the friggin' diseases that it holds and putting a friggin' end to it. You pull the swords out one by one, take a look at them, and just throw them in the fire. Celebration. Pisces. Now you will notice you went from a king to a queen. You went from thunder and lightning and crashing and booming and waves and tidal waves and tsunamis of emotion to the queen. And the queen is not feeling so much emotional as you did. Celebration. I finally feel a hell of a lot better. Celebration. Pisces. Spirit. What is it? Show me. Hold on. Hold on to your new beginning. Hold on to your new beginning. Don't let it go. Now you're about to be recognized. Now does this mean that you're going to be famous? Well, not Maybe, but it's not what I'm feeling. You're about to be recognized for everything that you've gone through. Universe, shift, destroying the things of the past. Get down your walls. I tell you, Pisces, even with your walls up, you can't escape the universe. Let down your walls and make it easier on yourself. Opportunities. Pick a cup, any cup. Opportunity. Doors opening. Spirit, one more. Spirit saying no, but let's go for it. This got nothing to do with love. This got nothing to do with anyone from the past. This is all you. Now someone from the past is going to come to you or someone who is in your present right now. Someone is ready to see things a little bit more your way. Let your walls down and trust it. If you can't trust them, then let your walls down and trust the universe because you're about to expand. You're about, to, you're about ready to clean house. Time to clean house. Get ready to celebrate. I have a Taurus here and I have Pisces. I have Aries, Sagittarius, Virgo. I have Aquarius and Libra. You know, there's a, there's a part of a movie in The Matrix where Neo was asleep and then all of a sudden his computer came on and said, wake up, Neo. And he woke up and he looked at the computer and it typed out, follow the white rabbit. And a friend of his came to the door and said, come to the party, we're going to a party. And he said, no, I'm not going to go. And his friend was with two other people, one being a woman, or two women, I can't remember. But when they turned to leave, there was a tattoo of a white rabbit. 
on one of the women's shoulders. And he said, wait a minute. I think I'll go. Look for the star. It could be a tattoo. I'm feeling that it is some sort of a tattoo. Look for something that'll resemble a star. I want to thank you for joining me today. And if you like the way I read, please like and share. And before you go, reach back and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring that bell in hopes that you'll be notified the next time that Spirit and I are in the room to speak with you. Namaste, Pisces.